Hi, and welcome back. I am Deborah Acker, and in this third and final video in this free series, we're going to be talking about living in presence, which I know so many of us struggle with. So in a world filled with all kinds of distractions, how do we begin to live in more presence? And I think the first piece of this is just noticing where you're not living in presence. Do you have your phone out? Are you running your to-do list when you're out to dinner with friends or family? Are you multitasking when you're at the salon or the gym when really this is your time to take care of you? And if you are, how are you feeling doing this? If you're stressed out, how much time are you spending feeling this way? Just feel that and notice how it feels in your body. And the second piece of this is just noticing what's scary for you about living in presence. Are you scared you're going to forget something or even deeper? What could come up if you put down that phone and allow yourself to be in the moment? Whatever it is, it's important to look at this and to not run away. And with that, I am going to ask you to take a deep breath. Ah. And coincidentally, this is my first tool to begin to living in more presence. So let me ask you this. How many times you go through the day holding your breath? While we're not underwater, it can certainly feel like it. And that being said, there is no need for it. Starting a regular breathing practice or even meditation can be so helpful. Also, just taking time throughout the day to notice your surroundings, including to walk outside and at the minimum to look outside, can be so helpful and does not have to take that long. And as part of this, setting healthy boundaries can also be so powerful in moving into presence. So do you have a boss or a coworker that likes to email after hours or on weekends? Or maybe you're in the habit of constantly checking your email or being on social media. While these things may have gotten you kudos at work and may even feel good, they may not be helping. In the past, what I've found helpful is to not always respond to unimportant emails when they've come in after hours, which definitely helps set that expectation for my boss and coworkers that they may or may not hear from me. And what I've also found helpful is not checking email or social media after a certain hour. And if something does come up that I need to do or forget to do during the day, writing it down or emailing it to myself for a more appropriate time so that I can move back into the now. And now let's get to my last, my favorite and most powerful technique for living in presence, which is feeling your feelings. That's right, you heard me feeling your feelings. We definitely get so conditioned to stuffing down our feelings, putting on that happy face, but one of the biggest ways I'm able to spend most of my hours of each day in presence is by giving space to whatever is coming up for me. And instead of that emotion taking over, the emotion dissipates. And with this, my happiness, my presence grows. And with that, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in what it's like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, contact me at deborahacker.com for my complimentary 30-minute discovery session. And until next time, as Oscar Wilde so eloquently puts it, be yourself, everyone else is taken.